All right, guys, it's Hitrack here, the unnecessary programmer. And today I'm going to tell you the story of how I tried to fulfill one of my childhood dreams of learning how to play the piano and how I eventually failed at it. So, as a very small revenge, we are going to write a new level Python bot that is going to play the online game Piano Tiles instead of us and better than us. Oh, really? If for some reason you came only for the Python bot and you don't want to hear my story or you don't want to see me play the David Jones Locker team from Pirates of the Caribbean, go down in the description, you're going to find some timestamps, so click on whatever interests you. So, I was fascinated with the piano as an instrument from a very early age. I think I was five years old when I first saw a piano in front of me and there was this burning passion. I wanted to bang on all the keys and I was mesmerized with all the sounds they were making. Then when I was 11, I actually discovered electronic dance music and more specifically hard style. The bass and the melody in this style of music made me fell in love with it. Along with my love for the music, my interest in the piano actually grew because I understood that most of the producers that were creating the songs were actually using keyboards to create the melodies for the tracks. The only problem was that I actually had no money to buy a Yamaha keyboard, so I just parked this dream of mine in the back of my head. Fast forward a few years, I now had a decent job, so I can afford the Yamaha keyboard and I went very excited to the shop and bought one. And this bad boy had over 600 different sounds. I mean, piano, organ, violin, harp, you name it. All right, check out this bad boy. I was so happy. Then I bought myself an online course on learning how to play the piano, which uh, started teaching me how to play some simple songs, plus it taught me all the scales. I actually really enjoyed the D minor scale. I don't know why, it just clicked with me. But here's something that nobody tells you before you start learning the piano. Using both hands to play the piano is hard as hell. It's like trying to tap your head and rub your belly at the same time. But on a larger scale. So I will be honest with you, the piano lessons were not going well. They were kind of boring and I was not making much of a progress. So I decided let's go to YouTube, find a video of somebody playing David Jones Locker because this is what I wanted to actually learn. Let's see all the notes, copy them on a piece of paper, try to memorize them and just practice, practice, practice how hard could it be? After many, many, many hours spent practicing and training, I was able to achieve my goal. To be honest, I'm happy with the result, but it's not that impressive. Check it out. It's actually pretty embarrassing to admit how much time it took to learn this one song. And after that point, I just stopped learning how to play the piano because go figures when you are an adult and you have other things to do. You don't have that much of a free time. But there was this nagging voice in the back of my head. Why are you not practicing? Why are you wasting the money? Is this how you follow your dreams? So after some time, I just decided to 
go and donate my keyboard to a music school that was working with kids whose parents weren't able to afford to buy them the instrument that they want to learn. So I hope my failure actually helped somebody else. So this brings us till today, where I started learning Python some time ago and I decided to write an auto clicker bot that's going to play the piano tiles as a sort of a revenge and I wanted to actually succeed at something. That's why I made the bot very noob-like to don't leave any open gaps for failure. The idea of the game is actually very simple. Here is our piano. The keys are coming from top to bottom and with the elapsed time it's going faster and faster. You have two options to click on the keys. Either use the mouse or use your keyboard by pressing A, S, D and F keys on your keyboard. We are going to use the keyboard because I think it's going to be more realistic. After we have chosen our input methods, next thing we need is to actually let our Python bot know where on the screen are those keys that needs to be pressed. We are doing this by taking a screenshot of our screen and we, I wrote a very simple Python script that is going to show us the X and Y position on our screen by hovering the mouse. We need all four X position for all four keys and we need the starting Y position and the ending Y position so we don't have to take a full screenshot of the screen. We have gathered all screen coordinates that we actually need so we are ready to write the screenshot taking part of our script now. Another thing we are going to add is minimizing the possible positions that we need to check so we are going to check only 4 pixels on the X coordinate which are basically the center of our piano keys. We are also going to add a failsafe because we don't want our AI to take over our computer and after that just loop through the screenshot. The final open question is what is the exact color of the piano key? We need this value because this is how our Python bot is going to recognize where a key is on the screen and is going to click it. In order to understand this value we need the following. You need to take a screenshot with uh, a snippet tool or something and you need to import this screenshot in a tool that can give you the actual RGB color of a specific pixel. If you don't have such a tool, just trust because I have checked and the RGB value is 17, 17, 17. And this is what we are going to use. We have everything we need now and it's time to finally finish our script. That's it, we are actually done. But two or three quick things before we go to the demo. I know that the script is not very optimized and uh, you can play with it a little bit more. So here is my quick ideas on how to optimize it. First, extend the gap Y variable to actually check a larger portion of the screen based on elapsed time. Two, reduce the sleep time after every click, but be careful because the click is actually very fast and there is a simple animation after you click on the key in the game and the program can actually check twice and click twice on the same position which will result in you losing the game. And three, if you're using a high refresh rate monitor like 120 or 240, reduce your refresh rate to 60 because the game is going to be too fast from the beginning and it's going to be actually unplayable. That being said, let's see how the bot is doing in our actual demo.
We are finally at the end. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Leave a like, leave a dislike, leave a comment, let me know what you think, subscribe if you enjoy the content, it actually really motivates me and see you in the next one. Bye!